Hey guys, this is Chuck, Backyard Billiard. Uh, just want to go over the polo shot with you guys. Uh, and just starting to get the stages where you can't control where it stops at. Uh, of course, you know, drawback will be the same thing, but today I'm going to go over your polo shot. Okay, now all I did was set up a little drill. Uh, each, each diamond has a ball. You always need to put a ball in the side pocket because that does count as a diamond also. Then three, four, and just try to, it's simple. Just make the, the, you know, the nine ball and try to get, you know, down here to whichever position you want it at. Say I want to, you know, stop the cue ball where the one is. Then they shot the two, the three. Yeah, I don't care in this section. You just want it to be, you know, as close to your target as possible. And you can do it about random. Say, this shot I'm going to do at number two. anywhere between halfway and halfway you're, you're good on position but you have to start doing them on command uh, not not randomly like I can say the number and put it there that's where you got to get in your game to where you're comfortable doing this you're feeling the stroke and as you're stroking I'm just using a level Q I'm not going for position I'm just going to show you I'm using level Q means as low as I can possibly get it to the, to the rail if that's where it's at. And then from there, I use my backhand. Okay, say I'm sitting hitting center. Say I'm hitting center of the cue ball. Yeah, center of the cue ball. When my hand's here, the only thing that moves to get shaped, top, bottom, left, right, is my backhand. It's called backhand English. My whole stick does not move. Say I want top, my whole stick doesn't move. Just, just my backhand goes down. All right. So my back hand's loose. It's just hold, just just heavy enough to uh, to hold it from dropping it and get a good follow through. And you gotta feel the shot. Get where you know I'm left-handed, so most of you probably be comfortable on this side. So right now I'm just gonna try drawing it to the one ball. Like 
said, this is on, on command, so I'm not cutting this, I'm not splitting it. That's just what it is. And that's where you guys have got to get in your practice also. Being more precise. Feel the shot. From here, you can put different English on it to get to do different things. Like if I put a top on it, it's gonna come closer to one ball. If I put a bottom on it, this is considered six. If I put the same shot and I put a bottom on it, it's gonna come closer to there. I'm doing when I'm doing these shots is I'm, I'm using the clock system. Uh, you know, 12 o'clock, oh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And what I'm doing, say, say I want to hit down there, I would use maybe a, a 7 o'clock to get down there towards where the, the 5 6 is. Two, three is. I'd use like an eleven o'clock. But the clock system's good because you know most people when you start out as an amateur, all you know is top, bottom, left, right. But you can put bottom. Bottom right, which would be like, you know, five o'clock. You know, four or five o'clock. And you can better, you can better choose where you want to strike your cue ball at, you know, to get to do different things. Um, like you saw, you know, I used to, you know, the top right, sorry, top left. I used the top left to get down here. But then I, I went down a little bit lower on the ball, got further down the table. So the clock system works for me very good. So uh, uh, that's it for me today. And don't forget, subscribe, like, boom, give me any comments.